Aloha everyone. I am today, I'm going to show you my version of a strawberry plant wicking container. I have seen several versions on YouTube and this is my version that I'd like to show you and I hope it works out okay. But I'm only using existing materials in my garden or what I have available on my property. So I'm gonna give it a shot and I'll show you what tools you'll need to make this possibly happen, okay? Okay, first of all, you'll need a cup of coffee to keep you alert <laughs> when you watch this tutorial. And also, um, I got five strawberry plants here that I got from a private dealer, uh, a local nursery. And here we have soil, PVC tube. I got like an inch, um, inch and a half, inch and, qu inch and a quarter size PVC tube. What does it say here? Um, hopefully that works. Anyway, any uh, it's a one inch PVC tube. Um, you could get any size pretty much depending on how big your bucket is. I have a bucket for the base. You need a lid. Um, I have a sponge here that's for the wicking part of it and then three um, disposable containers that I'm no longer using that's going to be put inside the bucket uh, to hold the water, help hold the water and, the, and to support the soil. Uh, here, this tool, that tool, a drill. I have wire cutters just in case I need it. Um, measuring tape and a plastic bag that I picked up from a local nursery from years ago and a gauge, um, a fencing. I think it's probably 14 gauge, okay? And I'll use that to hold the uh, uh, strawberry plants together. All right, so here goes.
Okay, everyone. So this is my very first uh, wicking strawberry uh, planter here. And uh, you can see as fast as that um, video went, uh, I was having difficulty getting this plastic bag over the cage. So I instead, I was like, duh, why don't I just put it inside the cage instead and see how it works. So looking at this, um, there's the strawberries I planted. There's five of them, one, two, three, four, and um, so, let me see here, the fifth one. Okay, well anyway, um, like I said, I used mainly all stuff from uh, what was around the house. Okay, I even used, so I wouldn't dump dirt inside here, right here. I used a Keurig cup. A disposable curry cup just to cover it while I dump dirt into the pot right there so I wouldn't get dirt inside where the water goes because the water goes all the way down here down 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 through the tubes uh, the PVC tube that we had and it comes out here so you can see so I can get that to the water you see the water coming out? I can't even see myself. It's so hard to see from this direction. Okay, so I have water coming out here. I drilled a, a four inch hole from the bottom because the containers, the plant containers that went in there were about this tall. And so there was a water reservoir. So the sponge is in there also to help wick the water from the bottom of the container up, up to the soil. Okay, so in other words, you won't have to water this plant as much and worry about dying while you're gone on vacation or something like that. Okay, so I also watered it from the top because all the soil was dry. The strawberry plants were sort of dry. That's why I had to pre-water it first. And then I left it as this. So, okay, so that's my wicking container. And virtually it didn't cost me anything. Um, I know you guys have buckets at home that you can use. This is a five gallon bucket. Um, the cage I had, well, a neighbor did a fence. He, he fenced in his yard and he gave me his leftovers. So that worked out. Um, and the PVC tube, maybe I, I spent $2 for the PVC tube. Okay. And it was what, maybe eight feet, eight feet tall. If that's the size they come in. But anyway, I have more left over to make another wicking container. So, um, anything else I could tell you about this? Um, no, there you go, there we have it. A functional strawberry wicking container. All right, thanks everyone for watching, bye.